Welcome back to whatever night it is show we're doing tonight. I don't know because mm, I'm just the pretty one who talks to the camera. I can't go remembering days of the week. My, uh, my next guest is a very lovely, lovely woman. She's an old friend of mine. Uh, she's in uh, Dollhouse, which premieres Friday on February the 13th. <gasps> <laughs> on Fox. <laughs> Take a look at this. Perhaps better than you have. Please welcome the very lovely Olivia Williams, everybody. <laughs> I just have to tell everyone here, you're now watching the last chapter of The Greatest Love Story Never Told. <laughs> don't, well, don't start telling it now, then. <laughs> what is this you do? Uh, I tear up the questions. Oh, okay. Because if I don't, I'll end up asking them. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> and I find it's a very dangerous thing to do, okay. to start asking questions that other people want you to ask. It's not a good idea. How are you? I'm very well. Do you know what I just remembered today, mm. before, you, before you came here, is that... The last, one of the last times I saw you, we went to see Mamma Mia. We did, I'm sorry. We went sorry. to see Mamma Mia, a stage play in, in, in London. London That's how that. much I care for you, that I went to see that damn play with you in London. I know, and you know what? On the flight over here from London, I watched the movie. Oh. And I, and I thought of you. Did you really? <laughs> Nothing says me like Mamma Mia, I think. <laughs> Look, I just want you to know I'm an ABBA fan, and for once I'm proud, okay? Because Jonesy... Steve Jones. Steve Jones. From the Sex Pistols, yes. From the Sex Pistols, once came into my trailer, and I was scared when he picked up my... Wait, wait, okay. wait. Why is he coming into he, your trailer? He was in, the, in a movie I was in. Oh, right, he didn't just yeah. turn up no, and say, no, no. hello. Yeah, well, no. he did, but... I mean, that's another story. Anyway, he came in and started looking through your CD collection, and if you're me and have always had very uncool music taste, that's... A, that's a kind of scary moment when one of the icons of punk comes in and yeah, wants to yeah. look at your CDs. And he pulled out my ABBA. ABBA gold and he said, they're great, I love ABBA. But he likes ABBA? And it just changed the whole context of my childhood because I had been laughed at for being an ABBA fan by all the Sex Pistols fans who were the cool kids in my school. And Oh, come on, Sex Pistols fans weren't cool. I was a Sex Pistols fan. <laughs> the reason why I was a Sex Pistols fan is because they were snorty and ugly and so was I. It made sense. <laughs> That's why I was attracted to them. No, you don't understand. I, I was alone singing... Listen, you were not alone with the ABBA thing. ABBA were quite popular in their day, and not just with gay men. Not, there was... Yeah. Not in Camden in Ca the in, 80s. In Camden, North London in the 80s? No, no I probably no. not. I don't know. I can't remember much about the <laughs> no, 80s. I'm sorry. It came up a few weeks ago on a show. <laughs> all of it. All at once. All, all of it. Yeah, it all came streaming out. No, I... I went to see uh, Mamma Mia. Uh, yeah. Was that when we were doing Born Romantic? No, actually, it was, it was chapter three of the greatest uh, no, We're story not telling it tonight, either. No, we're not, no. no all right. No. It's but, good to yeah, see you, though. It's very nice to see you, yeah. too, Greg. So you have kids now, I believe? I've got two. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. And I hear you have one, and I've got another bone to pick with you, as oh, yeah. we say in the old country. What? You said you were never going to get married again. I did. Yeah. You lied. Yes, I lied. <laughs> Yeah, I lied. I'm just going to leave it right there. Yeah. Well, I d I d I d oh, you got married? Yeah, I know, but I might not have done if I'd known you were going to get married again. Well, I... I... So, you, we went to see Mamma Mia. <laughs> don't you owe me, you bastards? You don't know what happened. <laughs> so... How, how are you getting on with the folks at Fox, then? You having a nice time over there with the Dollhouse show? What's that about, Dollhouse, well, then? Is it about Which dolls? of those questions do you want me to Any answer Any one first? of them. Just get the hell away from what we were talking about. <laughs> uh, it's... Uh, I'm working for Joss Whedon, who is... He's the guy um, that did uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, yes, isn't he? He's very clever. He's a living genius. Is he very, very small? No, not the smallest I've worked with. I've worked with smaller. I like to think of him as small. No, he's quite tall. 
That's disappointing. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Well, Antonio anyone that clever Banderas at it. Antonio Banderas is smaller. Was that? Antonio Banderas is Antonio smaller. Banderas is smaller? smaller than Joss Whedon. There you go. There's a fact that's never been out there before. Wow, I didn't know yeah. Antonio Banderas was small. So yeah. Melanie Griffith then must be tiny because she's... Well, in... she and I both have to stand in a lot of ditches. For different reasons. <laughs> No comment. Yeah. Are you... Are you <laughs> made myself laugh, though. That's good, isn't it? That's a good sign. It's always a good sign. Are you enjoying the LA? The world's laughing with you, Craig. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> about 45 people a night. Um, what about um, LA? Do you like it? I love it. Do you really? Yeah. Oh, that's it's, nice. You're very, I think of you as a very London girl. I don't yeah, understand this. this. is it's the sort of... Filthy underbelly of my secret longings come Filthy out here. Filthy underbelly yeah. of your secret longings? Oh, yeah. In London, I'm like, ride a bicycle, cars are wrong. I come here, I rent the biggest gas guzzler I can find. Ah, yes. Draw up to the restaurants, throw my car keys at the valet parking. You like the valet parking? <sighs> it's lovely, isn't it? I, it's a great idea. And I try that. I go home and forget, and in London, I get out of the car and sort of hand my car keys to people in the street. Well, and though they park. like that, though. Yeah. yeah. I, I always think valley parking would be a good idea in London. There's no place to have your car. Yeah, well, they just have to drive around. They'd have to have as many people as there are in the restaurant just driving around London because the valet parker can't find a parking space either. There just isn't any parking. It being a medieval city. Yeah, it is medieval, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Certainly when it comes to dentistry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I learned to floss in America. Until you did. I came to America, I'd never flossed. Are you still doing the hot yoga? Oh, yeah. I was there Are this you? morning. Were you really? Yes, You're still doing yeah, the hot yeah, yoga? Yeah, That's yeah, lovely. Yeah. I, um, I was converted... What temperature is the yoga when oh, you do it? Oh, it's over 100 degrees. The re uh, am I I'm not allowed to use an expletive on this show. Yeah, sure you can. Okay. <laughs> Bikram says, the reason I have the biggest swimming pool in Beverly Hills is because you're also... Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's, he's, Who's Bikram, the he, inventor he, he's of hot the yoga? He invented hot yoga, yeah. He, yeah. He is, well, now, what is hot yoga? They just heat a room very hot and then you do yoga in it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, it, you know, it's, it's sort of, again, it's back to the sort of Catholic guilt thing. You eat loads of food, you do all the wrong things with the donuts, and you go to Bikram yoga and do you just... Do all the wrong things with the donuts? Yeah, and then you sweat it <laughs> all out on the floor. And then at the end, there's a puddle of all your sins there. It's just great. It's, it's cleansing and euphoric. I love Bikram yoga. Yeah, I, I didn't, but I do now. <laughs> I should give it a try. You should. I think I thought you did. I thought I, I did actually. I gave I it a try once. Made you do that as well. Chapter no, you four. did. You made me go to yeah, some hot yoga yeah. classes. Yeah. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> it smells. Hot like... yoga and Mamma Mia. Yeah. Good times. <laughs> I know. That shows how devoted he was. Yes, yes, it's true. It's absolutely true. <laughs> So, um, are you going to live here then? Are you going to move we here? We moved here for six months uh, to, to shoot the first part of the series. Then, if, if America you, oh, loves us. Oh, you, you better tell me what it's about. The, okay, the, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Um, I'm going to. Eliza Dushku's the lead, but I'm an actor, so I can only see it from my point of view. So, well, yes, I of run a very serious organisation of which Eliza plays a minor role, obviously. Right. And um, my job is to take beautiful and disaffected young people and wipe their brains of That's their white That's what I do here. Well, <laughs> I think Joss got the idea from you. <laughs> and, right. uh, and then he, I program them into making them into your perfect date. So you come to me and I say, you know, what would you like? And you say, I That want takes me back. <laughs> someone who can... <laughs> Play a piano concerto, climb a mountain, and likes to be taken roughly from behind. Hey, no, hey! <laughs> you said that, sorry, and then you write it down, and I put it in the brain, and then send you off on your date with your perfect date. That sounds a bit creepy. Yeah. <laughs> I shall watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Very lovely, Olivia Williams, everybody. We'll be right back.